On this week's show, we continue our series on buying a used RV as we look at Class B motorhomes and check out a 2015 Winnebago Travato and a 2014 Pleasure Way Plateau. We'll look at the similarities and the differences, including what you can expect to pay. Later, Jeff shows us his surefire way of getting a campfire started quickly. Then, Mark and Don Polk from RV Education 101 give us some tips on using your mirrors. These stories and more on this week's Rolling On TV. Rolling On TV is brought to you by Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. Closed and Spanish captioning, where available, is sponsored by Jayco. At Jayco, we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. On this segment, Jeff shows us a 2015 Winnebago Travato that is currently selling in the $62,000 to $69,000 range, depending, of course, on mileage and options. Winnebago's brand new Travato Touring Coach is the first Class B motorhome built on Dodge's brand new Ram 3500 Promaster chassis. Coincidentally, it's also our first opportunity to spend some time behind the wheel on one of these guys. It's a pretty slick combination. We'll take a closer look. The Travato looks great from any angle. Its sharp exterior details and clean lines present an image that should please almost any RVer with a contemporary looking Class B motorhome in mind. Winnebago's decision to use the Dodge as a base for this coach seems well done as the Promaster van is well set up for this type of service. The Promaster van is well known as the Fiat Ducato overseas and has a long track record of proven durability and performance. American buyers may take some time getting accustomed to the new van, but once they settle in, they'll enjoy the ride. It's a little bit of getting used to to learn about the smart stocks. This one up here that has the headlights, blinkers, and so on. The one down below it, this one on the left side, has the uh, cruise control can, the features. On the right, of course, you have uh, windshield wipers and so forth. And then, and then there's the radio canceling and calling uh, and telephone signals on the, uh, the, the steering wheel. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you learn where everything is, it's a pretty comfortable ride. USB and 12 volt power outlets, map pockets in the doors, storage trays here and there, and drink holders everywhere are among the cab convenience features. A backup monitor and GPS navigation are available via the five inch command center screen. Our road test trip with the Travato was about a six hour run one way, and the seats are wonderful. There are all kinds of adjustments. Of course, you can adjust the height, the tilt front to back, tilt on the back. Lumbar support seems pretty good. The base of the seat seems firm, but it provides a lot of support. All things considered, it's just a very civilized ride for being a commercial van-based vehicle. And these are the stock seats that come in it come with it from Dodge. These are not Winnebago replacement seats. They don't really need to replace them. They feel darn good, just like they are. Freeway travel is a dream in the Travato, and back roads are just as much fun. Get off the freeway and start carving up the little back road state highways. That's where this rig really shines. Great steering, great stability, good handling, good braking. Nice way to put on a few miles. Our fuel economy averaged a bit over 17 miles per gallon while driving the Travato. That's pretty darn good for a coach of this size that also has excellent performance. We reached our destination and were reminded once again that one of the real pluses for a Class B is its maneuverability. Tight quarters and sharp campground road corners are no problem for the Travato. With the bed folded up, the sleeping area becomes a toy hauler type garage that can handle bicycles or other bulky items. Fold the bed down and it's a cozy spot for two. 
LED lights save power and produce less unwanted heat. A powered electric step improves access to the interior. We have no problem with manually operated devices, but we have to admit, the powered awning kind of grows on them. The coach utility access points are conveniently grouped on the driver's side. The dump valves and exhaust hang a bit low, but they still clear the average parking spot wheel stop. A wet bath is pretty common in a Class B, and the Travato is no exception. The space is tight, of course, but it's enough to do the job. A cook has to choose wisely when packing the kitchen storage in a Class B. Overhead cabinet space is secured by a solid latching door and its laminate finish looks really classy. Small but functional sink and stove units are flush mounted in the kitchen's laminate countertop and storage drawers are close by and seem well made. The microwave and refrigerator are directly opposite along with more storage space for cooking convenience. Turning around the driver and passenger seats provides extra guest accommodation at the dinette. Table access is good, even for a big person, but the tables seem fairly wobbly for mealtime use. Overhead lighting, the radio and TV are easy to reach from the dining table position. The TV is definitely best viewed from the turned around front seats. An average sized person can park at the dinette with ease. The dinette table includes a swing-out table extension for a little extra space. A clever mechanism and support structure enables the table to fold down as a base for the auxiliary bed. Cushions are rearranged and the sliding hassock extension fills the aisle gap to complete the bed that would best fit a younger or smaller person. The small space in a Class B is no problem for us as we spend most of our non-sleeping time outside the rig. We set up the meals inside, then do our cooking and relaxing outdoors when the weather permits. We were very lucky on this springtime trip in Washington and Oregon. We thoroughly enjoyed our Travato camping and travel time. It nicely packages a smart set of Class B features in a well-built, fun, and functional coach. To learn more about the Travato, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Simply put, Thetford's AquaCam has outsold all its competitors combined because it's the strongest holding tank deodorant available. It provides the strongest odor control around the clock in all temperatures and conditions. It quickly liquefies waste and tissue and is 100% biodegradable. AquaCam, the industry standard for 50 years. For more information, visit Thetford.com. AquaCam, another great product from Thetford. We didn't make the majestic mountains or the rugged terrain or paint the night sky, but we make it possible to see it all. Road Trek, America's number one selling touring coach for over 25 years. Built with quality so you can sit back, relax, and enjoy the destinations you want. Enjoy the peace of mind that only a Road Trek can provide. Next, we look at a 2014 Pleasure Way Plateau FL based on a Mercedes Sprinter chassis, which also brings the selling price up to around $95,000. Let's check and see what we get up in this price range. The summer travel and camping season is finally upon us. RVers of all kinds are going to be hitting the roads to their favorite destinations or going to their local dealerships to check out the newest exciting products. One of the products a lot of those people will be looking at is Class B motorhomes. This little coach is something that's been gaining an awful lot of popularity these days. We're here in Junction City, Oregon at Garrity RV, where salesman Gary Christians is going to give us a little bit of an explanation of what a Class B is all about, what it has to offer, and why you might find it an interesting option. 
By way of background information, a Class B starts with a Ford, Chevrolet, or Mercedes van body, and the coach manufacturer adds the hardware to transform the van into a motorhome. But there's much more to it than just parts and pieces in a small package. We asked Gary to explain the appeal of a Class B compared to larger motorhomes. A Class B motorhome has all the luxuries of a 45-foot uh, Class A big bus motorhome. You could utilize a Class B motorhome every day, be able to take it to work, for transportation, take the kids uh, for a family uh, to an outing, to a sports event. Uh, and they have updated Corian countertops, uh, generators, air conditioners, everything that the larger ones do. It's just in a much smaller body. And the body is made by the manufacturer and it is complete. So Class Bs, to get that smallness, are a little bit more expensive per square foot, but the smallness is the real benefit. So Class B motorhomes are offered on various chassis. Uh, this one, for instance, is on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, and it's offered in a couple of different lengths, the longer version, which is the regular size, and we also have a small version uh, they're also offered on a Chevrolet chassis as well for a different uh, floor plan arrangements and different price points. And in the rear of the coach, you have your kitchen area with loads of counter space, great storage space. I mean, that's a lot of drawers. Good storage down below. Flush mount sink that's recessed. Cook space is recessed so you can use it for counter area. And here in the back, this is a sofa that has seat belts so you can put two or three people in the back comfortably sitting forward, seat belted in. And you can also make it into a twin bed or a queen size bed. So there's plenty of room, full size bed, and maybe the bigger motorhomes don't even have a bed of this size. Hard to believe, but it's true. Great storage all the way around. Closet space. It has a uh, entertainment center in the back as well. So you can have a spot. You can watch movies or TV in the back as well as up front. Refrigerator. Freezer compartment. Convection microwave just like you'd have in a bigger coach or, for that fact, in your house. Very convenient, 20 miles per gallon. It's a five-speed Mercedes transmission with a six-cylinder Mercedes diesel. Thank you, Gary. That answers a lot of questions about Class B motorhomes. We recently spent a little bit of time in a Pleasure Way Class B. Easy parking in a smaller-sized camp space is a real plus for a Class B rig. A handy utility panel groups connections in one spot and simplifies campsite setup. When it's time to dump the waste, the gray and black valves are easy to access and there's also a dump hose storage tube close by. Storage for all of your bulky camping gear can be a challenge inside a Class B. Our compact Zip-D camp chairs traveled on the floor and we hauled our firewood from home in a large plastic bag stashed in the center aisle. For short-term trips, we keep some of our supplies in plastic bins instead of loading up the drawers. These bins are easily handled inside the coach. The Plateau FL model includes an area under the sofa bed we used for some smaller objects. The space is shared with the spare tire, so cubic footage is limited. A Class 4 hitch receiver and plug wiring are standard equipment and facilitate trailer towing with the Plateau. The top grade Fiamma awning is standard equipment. From the cleanly laid out cab to the mid coach galley and out back to the lounge, the Plateau makes good use of its available space. Campsite setup includes turning the front bucket seats around for extra seating space inside. An optional flat screen TV is positioned for viewing from the front seats. Install the upgraded tight lock table post in the tabletop and you have a small dinette just behind the kitchen. 
stainless steel fixtures add functional class to the galley. Storage space for smaller items is built into every available spot inside the coach and LED lighting is used throughout. The maple cabinets include first-class hardware and some spots employ interesting corrugated sliding doors. The plateau starts as a commercial van so the cab seems a bit spartan but it's well equipped and sensibly laid out. Every control is within easy reach including the center stack with climate and entertainment functions. Nifty padded shelves over the visors make for welcome personal gear storage spots. Out back, the motorized sofa folds down into a roughly twin-sized bed. When you hit the road, one of the real benefits of a Class B makes itself known. Simply stated, the Pleasure Way is great fun to drive with a comfortable ride and civilized steering and handling manners. Tilt and telescoping steering allows the driver to shape the driving position to suit. The optional rear view monitor is a highly worthwhile addition. The Mercedes 3 liter diesel powers the coach with aggressive confidence and the 5 speed automatic transmission delivers the right gear for the situation. Its 170 inch wheelbase gives the coach straight line stability yet allows for tight corner maneuvers when needed. An adaptive electronic stability program and acceleration skid control help the coach remain stable at all times. Rolling up the miles is a no-stress delight in the plateau by Pleasure Way. I can get used to driving this, to owning this. The steering is very comfortable. The window, the visibility is great. No obstructions. The seats, extremely comfortable. And there's a lot of power behind this steering wheel. So, are we uh, ready to head cross-country there? If a Class B is in your future, the Pleasure Way may be the solution you need. For more information about Pleasure Way Motorhomes, log on to our website at rollingontv.com. Someone once said, the camping doesn't really start until the RV awning comes out. Whoever said that really knew what they were talking about. Carefree of Colorado, celebrating 45 years of RV awning innovation. For more information, visit our website at carefreeofcolorado.com. Exploration. It affirms that we are alive, demands that we are present. So let's put our work lives on pause, ramble out into the world, and share the journey with the ones we love. For more information, visit LanceCamper.com. Rolling on TV, and Thetford, who makes those tough top-of-the-line Titan sewer hoses, are giving away five, yes five, of their premium sewer hose kits. We'll be giving away one kit each week for five weeks, starting the week of April 22nd. How do you enter? Easy. Visit our website at rollingontv.com and click on the Titan Premium Contest link. That's it. It's that simple. So, what are you waiting for? The next time you empty your holding tanks could be a whole lot easier and cleaner with your new Titan Premium Sewer Hose Kit. Well, it's campfire time again, and I, for one, am really glad for it. Been a long winter, but getting started in the spring means sometimes where we wind up using firewood that's a little less than optimum. Maybe it's a bit wet or green or a little bit punky. Well, there's something you can do that can make starting up this fire a whole lot easier. Some people really struggle with that, use a lot of newspaper, starting fluid, even worse, something like that. But there's a really simple little tool you can make that helps you start a fire like this with one match every time. Let's take a look. We're doing the project out on the driveway for fire safety reasons. We set up a double boiler arrangement for safety. The melting pot is a can with a wood handle screwed to it 
and it's loaded with scrap candle chunks we've accumulated. The double boiler is critical when melting wax. While the wax melts, we set up the egg carton that we trimmed down to just the lower part. Use cardboard only. Do not use a styrofoam egg carton for this. We fill the carton with sawdust and wood shavings. Next up is pouring the melted wax into the sawdust filled egg carton. No need to completely fill the cups, just enough to get the sawdust moist with wax is good. But if they're filled somewhat, that's okay too. After the wax cools, cut them up into individual cups and they're ready to pack into a storage bag. Keep away from heat or they'll try and recycle themselves. I start a fire with newspaper down first because the extra wax can melt and run all over. If it's on newspaper, it can still burn and help start the fire. Pile up your kindling, light the waxy starter, and you're on the road. The extra heat from the burning wax helps get even the most stubborn wood going. Take just one of these little fire starters. They're easier to store in your RV. Toss them in a compartment, and no matter what kind of wood you run into, dry, wet, maybe a little green and punky, one of these guys will get them started for sure. And you know, this isn't rocket science, but it's one of those things you learn in the Boy Scouts. Give it a try. Might make your camping a little bit easier. At Jayco, we're a lot more than just an RV manufacturer. We're all about family. And we've been making family dreams come true since 1968. To see our complete product line and find your nearest Jayco dealer, visit us online at jayco.com or just log on to rollingontv.com. When you have a Truma AquaGo instant hot water system, you can expect to make a lot of new friends. topic is your RV mirrors. Properly adjusted mirrors can be the best tool you have when it comes to safe operation of your RV. Let's take a look at how you adjust your RV mirrors for maximum visibility. For the most part, there are two types of mirrors commonly found on motorhomes. There are the type that extend out in front of the motorhome on long arms and the type that are fixed to the sides of the motorhome. If you have the type of mirrors that extend out in front of your motorhome on long arms, you need to make sure the inside edge of the mirror is flush with the side of the coach. The best way to check your mirrors is to stand in front of your coach and sight down the side. The inside of the mirror head should look like it is just touching the side of the coach. Having the mirror flush with the side of the coach gives you the best overall view. On the passenger side of the coach, you should set the mirror flush with the outside edge of the awning arms. If the mirror is too far in or too far out, you are losing valuable viewing area. Adjust the flat part of the mirror so you can just see the side of your coach along the inside edge and so you are looking back level with the ground about one fourth of the way from the top of the mirror you really don't need to see a lot of sky. If the convex or spot mirrors are independently adjustable, set them the best you can so you can see out horizontally to the ground and alongside the coach. Most people do not use their convex mirrors for general driving because it's not easy to see any detail. You may not see the detail, but the fact that you are seeing a much larger area gives you an advantage. Think of your convex mirrors as an early warning device. They give you warning of a developing situation around you in order for you to take needed action. When set properly, the convex mirrors should be used as much as the flat mirrors for general driving. With your mirrors properly set, the only thing left to do is load up the RV and head out on another RV adventure. 
This RV driving skills trip is from our Drive Your Motor Home Like a Pro DVD, Happy Camping. For more information about the Winnebago Travado, Pleasure Way Plateau, or buying a used RV, along with additional stories, videos, and the latest RV news, visit our website at rollingontv.com. As usual, this has been another fun production. Thank you.